the final day and David and Elaine's turn to try and win the grand. Last night was lots of fun, lots of laughter. Having said that, I think the food was, was you know, a slight letdown. Matt and Jay were lovely hosts, but the food was really quite poor. We woke up thinking we've had a bit of a bump with the main course because there was a few comments, so I think that's going to be our downfall, don't we? If anyone's going to be critical tonight, it will be Jay because the look she gave Dave last night because he was a bit critical was pretty stern. I'm just like raging when I criticise every single bit. <laughs> She's on the warpath. I think our menu is probably a little bit more sophisticated than the other menus. If, if we don't win, I'm going to go mad. Oh, sh I am. I am going to. I'm going to have a, <laughs> such a hissy fit. <laughs> David and Elaine, losers. <laughs> and on that note, on to the starter: smoked haddock and Snowdonian souffle. Haddock. You can get haddock in any restaurant. But maybe not Snowdonian souffle. What is a souffle? Well, that's a good question. Why does it say Snowdonian? Must be the type of cheese. I reckon. Yeah, you can get cheese from Snowdonia. It's not going to be cold, is it? So this is the Snowdonian cheese. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely cheddar. So if you want to get on and start grating that for me. I never grate the cheese. It's your job. Mm. You don't like cheesy fingers? No. Into a pan go milk, peppercorns, a bay leaf and the smoked haddock for poaching. Six to eight minutes. David removes the fish, ready for flaking, and starts his cheese sauce. He combines butter, flour, and the fishy milk. Right, honey, do you want me to start flaking the fish? No, I don't think so. I don't want you messing it up. Oh. In goes the Snowdonian cheddar, a bit of mustard, and egg yolks. I think I'll have to try another bit. No, stop it. No, 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 Lindsay, please don't take any Last more. Bit. That's it. Last bit. Look, I, well, you're only going to spoil your own dinner party. Are you feeling the pressure? The only pressure I'm feeling is you eating all the grub. Oh, yeah, sorry, we were going to give you um, a lovely smoked haddock souffle, but instead of that, you got fish and chips from the chippy. Possibly better. David adds what's left of the haddock to the sauce, along with whisked egg whites. He decants into ramekins to be souffléed later on. That's it. High five! On to the main. Cannon of lamb with dauphinoise potatoes, parsnip gratin, seasonal veg, minted peas and a red wine jus. Woo! That's a Toby Carvery special, isn't it? <laughs> that one? <laughs> no? I think it's a good option. Yeah. It's... I think it's I think lamb is quite a crowd pleaser. Look at that. Wow. That is cannon of lamb. It's a loin of lamb. It is the best. It, it is the fillet steak in the lamb world. It is. Lovely loin. And the lamb will be cooked later. Dough from wild potatoes. Everyone does those. Maybe you should have. Oh, you're such a good chopper. You only want me for my chopping skills. I do. Potatoes are chopped, then layered with onions, garlic and butter. Oh, lovely smell, that garlic. Awesome. More layers are added. It's covered with cream and milk and it's in to cook. Dauphin wild potatoes with all that cream and yumminess, I think that's lovely. I just worry it might be all a bit too rich altogether. So let's add more cheese. You'll get cheesy fingers. Lady, are you sure they're not a bit burnt? No, they are absolutely perfect. Delicious. On to the jus! They fry off shallots, rosemary, garlic and balsamic, then reduce with red wine and stock. And there we have it, a red wine jus. Finally, dessert. Homemade lemon ice cream with a cornflake crust and summer berries. Gosh, that's three homemade ice creams. Battle of the ice cream. Battle of the ice cream. Well, I hope the homemade ice cream goes wrong. Very sporting. This dessert has been in my family for over 50 years. My mother was given a recipe book for her wedding and it was in that book. So it's really, really special to me. Cornflakes are mixed with sugar and melted butter whilst David starts peeling some lemons. No, darling, not like that. What? Oh, grate it like that. Sorry. Oh, you volley. Right, sorry. He gives them a squeeze. Is that what you need? Yeah, not yet. I'm not going to do anything. Don't panic, Mrs Mannering. Condensed milk is combined with double cream, egg yolks and lemon zest, followed by lemon juice and egg whites. Get your nose out. It smells of the Amalfi Coast, my darling. <laughs> I wouldn't know. You haven't taken me there yet. The cornflakes and ice cream mix is assembled and then frozen. All prepped? Yeah, let's rock and roll. Let's go get ready. OK. Ooh, thank you. We've really got to get that chairlift sorted, you know. 